Have you ever asked a smart speaker to play your favorite song only to end up hearing something completely random, or worse, total silence? It's weirdly amusing, right? Machines can do mind-blowing things, like beating chess champions or instantly calculating complex math, yet they fumble with tasks even toddlers find simple. This curious reality has a name, Moravex Paradox. Hey guys, just a quick side note, I just launched my merch store. Feel free to check it out. Every purchase directly supports the effort and passion I put into making these videos. Thanks for your support. I really do appreciate it. Now back to the video. Imagine this. You're in your kitchen, casually reaching for a mug. You grab it without thinking. Now, imagine a robot doing that. It hesitates, calculates, awkwardly moves its mechanical arm, and maybe, just maybe, picks it up successfully, if everything is perfectly positioned. Why is this simple action so challenging for robots when humans do it effortlessly? Moravec's paradox explains this mystery perfectly. First described in the 1980s by robotics expert Hans Moravec, this paradox notes something surprising. The tasks humans find easy, like walking, recognizing faces, or navigating cluttered rooms, are incredibly difficult for artificial intelligence. Conversely, tasks that are tough for humans, like solving complex equations, or playing strategic games like chess or go, are actually much easier for machines. Think about chess. A computer can rapidly analyze millions of potential moves and crush even world champions. But ask that same supercomputer to fold your laundry or recognize your cat from a new angle, and it will likely fall apart. Why? One popular explanation involves evolution. Our brains have evolved over millions of years to master tasks essential for survival, like recognizing danger, communicating, or moving effortlessly through complex environments. These skills are deeply ingrained, almost automatic. On the other hand, abilities like logical reasoning, advanced math, or playing chess are relatively recent, culturally developed skills. They're conscious, deliberate activities, easier to translate into clear rules that computers can follow. Another reason revolves around something philosophers call tacit knowledge, Basically, skills you have but can't fully explain. Imagine riding a bike or catching a ball. Can you describe every tiny adjustment your body makes in real time? Probably not. These tasks rely heavily on intuition and subconscious processes, making them nearly impossible to code explicitly into a machine. Conversely, solving math problems or playing chess involves clear, definable rules, making these tasks straightforward to automate. This difference also points to the complexity of real-world environments. Tasks humans handle easily, like picking up oddly shaped objects, involve endless variability and constant adaptation. Robots thrive in structured environments with clear rules, but struggle terribly in messy, unpredictable real-life situations. Let's look at some relatable examples. Consider automated text generation models like ChatGPT or GPT-4. They can produce compelling essays or even poems in seconds, tasks once thought to demand high-level creativity and intelligence. Yet these same machines have trouble stacking blocks neatly or moving safely through crowded rooms, skills mastered effortlessly by young children. Another example. Imagine yourself building furniture. Even following instructions can be tricky for humans, but the real challenge for robots isn't the instructions. It's physically handling materials. Humans instinctively adjust pressure, grip strength, and movement based on feel. Robots, however, need explicit programming for every tiny variation, making such seemingly basic tasks astonishingly hard. So, what does Moravec's paradox mean for our future with AI? On one hand, it suggests some reassuring limits. Jobs involving empathy, fine motor skills, or complex environmental awareness, like nursing, teaching, or craftsmanship, remain incredibly resistant to automation. Yet on the other hand, it also presents a clear direction for AI research, mastering those seemingly simple human skills. This paradox has reshaped AI research over the past few decades. Researchers now focus heavily on neural networks and machine learning techniques enabling computers to learn intuitively, much like human brains. 
Advances in deep learning have led to significant progress in vision and speech recognition, finally allowing machines to approximate the effortless way humans interpret sensory information. But here's something to ponder. Even as AI improves, will there always be an intuitive gap between human and artificial intelligence? Will robots ever truly achieve that effortless grace humans demonstrate in simple acts like catching a falling cup, instantly recognizing a friend's voice, or comforting someone with genuine empathy? Maybe the goal isn't to fully replicate human abilities, but to find harmony between what humans do best and what AI can handle better. Picture a future where AI complements our strengths, taking care of tedious calculations, data crunching, and repetitive tasks, freeing humans to focus on creativity, intuition, and meaningful connections.